Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, August 8th, and today's video is going to be a day in the life with Mommy and Nathan. And so just to kind of get started on the day, I've done my hair, I have not done my makeup, and I have not gotten dressed yet, but that is on the agenda here in just a little bit. It is almost 10, 15 in the morning, and so I thought I would just tell you what we've done already. Nathan woke up around eight o'clock this morning, and we had breakfast, changed his diaper, we played a little bit, as you can see. He's got toys everywhere. And actually that reminds me, I haven't shown you what the cabinets look like. They are installed and they're coming back some night this week. The stone company is coming out to finish the stone. And then I have to baby proof it right now because Nathan would totally get into all of this. So anyway, and then they're also going to come out Saturday, the cabinet guys, to finish like caulking it and painting it and putting in the shelves. So I'm so excited for this to be done. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. So that is what I've done so far this morning. Like I said, I'm gonna go up and finish getting ready and get dressed. And then once Nathan wakes up, we're gonna go run errands because I need to buy a few pieces of decor for the cabinets and we actually have some returns to make. So it's gonna be kind of a busy day, but I thought I would just take you guys along for the ride. So one thing that I definitely need to do, and I should probably do it now while Nathan's napping, is clean up our kitchen and our eating area here. Um, I haven't really gotten everything done, and my vacuum is still sitting right there, lovely. Um, I haven't really finished cleaning or putting everything away since we got back from our trip to Iowa last week, so I just need to kind of pick up, and that's definitely what I should probably do today. I've got dishes in the sink that need done, the dishwasher needs emptied, bottles need washed, and I just have some things I need to do. So while Nathan is still sleeping, I'm going to run upstairs and fold the laundry that's in the dryer. As you can see here, he's still sleeping. Share with you guys a personal story. Um, it took Kevin and I three years to get pregnant with Nathan and we had tried everything. We got tested for everything. Everything came up normal. I had almost every fertility app that I could get my hands on to keep track of my cycle and nothing was working. And so my cousin suggested to me um, this Clear Blue Easy Kit. And I tried it and the first month I got pregnant. So I recommend this to all of my friends who are having struggles conceiving and I just wanted to kind of share with you how it works. So this particular one comes with two months worth of supplies. There's 20 strips in here. And then inside there is this like tracker. And what you do is you insert one of these, you open it up, you open up one of these pink testing strips and you insert it into the applicator and then you pee on the stick. And after some, oh, I've been having this upside down this whole time. Um, after a few minutes, it will come up with results. And as you can see on here, if you're not ovulating, it'll be a blank circle. If you are ovulating, it'll be a happy face. And so I bought these again because we, now that Nathan is one, we decided to start trying again for baby number two. And today, this is what came up on the stick. So I don't know if you could see that very clearly, but today is ovulation day. So I'm so excited. I hope this works. Um, this is really the first month that I'm trying for real. 
because I was going to go ahead and start trying in July, but it was just such a busy, crazy month with Nathan's birthday. And then we had my mom's retirement party. And so I just wasn't in town very much and I completely forgot to use this kit. So this is the first month that we're trying. And if it works, I swear to God, this thing is the best kit ever. So we shall see. But I just wanted to let you guys know if any of you are struggling with fertility, I swear by this kit. So pick it up. I want to say that the two month supply is like $35. So they don't give it away, but it's worth it. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I am going to do my makeup, and it has been um, requested that I do a get ready with me video, so I will do that at some point, but I'm not really in a position today to do that because I'm not sure how much longer Nathan will be sleeping, but I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of do a quick, like, you can see me do my makeup, but it's not going to be like a tutorial or really a, what I use or anything like that. But this is where I store my makeup, and I think it's so cute. I've got cotton balls, cotton swabs. I've got my makeup brushes in the back, I've got my makeup in the front, and then I use this mirror to get ready. Hi. in love with the necklace I'm wearing today. I just picked it up from H&M over the weekend and it's just a three layer necklace and I like it so much that this is the gold one and I have it in silver and rose gold too and I think it's so cute. The earrings I'm wearing are just simple little earrings and I got them from Threshing Bee in Overland Park and it's a really cute little boutique and so go check it out if you are in the Overland Park area. I am wearing just a black top from Old Navy and some um, jean capris from Target and then I'm just wearing a simple black and gold watch and a bracelet that I got from Charming Charlie. So that is my outfit of the day. I'll probably put on just some black flip flops with it. And the perfume and lotion that I'm using, it's from Victoria's Secret and it's the Paris lotion and the Paris perfume. And I'm here to tell you, it is one of the best smelling perfumes ever. Hi. Can you say hi? Peekaboo! Hi! Uh, Should we change you and get ready? This is going to be Nathan's outfit of the day. A cute little long sleeve shirt with some jean shorts. I love baby jean shorts. I mean, do they get any cuter?
Nathan is in desperate need of a haircut, but I put some gel in it so it doesn't look so shaggy, but look how cute he looks. just a quick meal that I'll make if we're going to be taking Nathan out and about and he's going to need lunch or if we're going out for dinner and I'm not sure if they'll have anything he can eat. So this is just kind of a standard what I pack. Um, first of all, I put everything in this Y bag that I got when we signed up for a gym membership. And then this is the ice pack for my Medela breast pump kit. Um, I just think it's a really nice size. It fits on the bottom of that perfectly. He always has milk in one cup and then we always take water when we go out and about. And he has a half of a peanut butter sandwich, some green beans, some blueberries, and uh, Yo Baby yogurt. It's 11.54 and we are heading out. We just left the house. Um, I'm not sure if Kevin is going to be able to join us for lunch. He, I think he might be in a meeting or something. He hasn't been able to answer my text messages. So we're gonna go anyway and run a bunch of errands. And I've got Nathan in the back seat watching Moana. Hey bud. We ended up eating lunch at Taco Bueno. And now we're gonna change your diaper in the trunk. Gotta get my station ready. And this is what the end of a shopping trip looks like. <laughs> He's totally destroyed the cart thing. So it is almost four o'clock and we are heading home for running all of our errands and I cannot believe that Nathan let me shop this long because we've been gone since 11.30. So that's a really long time for him. I just got home from Trader Joe's and I thought I'd share with you guys what I bought. First of all, I got a couple of reusable grocery bags, which I'm really excited about. I picked up some cookie butter sandwich cookies and I've heard these are amazing, so I'm excited to try them. I got some nutritional yeast to sprinkle over like vegetables and stuff. I got some Trader Joe's coconut cold brew coffee concentrate, which I've also heard is amazing. I picked up some cold pressed watermelon juice. I got onion salt and seasoning salt. I got some organic yellow chips with some cowboy caviar salsa, which is corn, black bean, and pepper. And I got island salsa, which has um, mango, pineapple, and red pineapple, or excuse me, red jalapeno peppers. <laughs> I picked up some chicken breast nuggets some dark chocolate crisps, some chicken fried rice, and some garlic fries. So I'm not saying any of this is a healthy run necessarily, but it looked good. So I haven't been to Trader Joe's forever, so I thought I'd go and check it out, and they have a lot of really yummy stuff. So. I just finished picking up the living room a little bit and I wanted to mention that the reason I my living room is kind of in disarray right now is that we had to move almost everything out of this room so that they could install those cabinets and there I think the timeline for this week is Wednesday or Thursday the guy that's installing the stone is coming back out and then Saturday the guys that did the cabinets are coming back out to finish that project and then sometime early next week, um, the stone guy will come back out to grout the stone that he did. So that's kind of the time frame, and that's why my living room is a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Okay, so it is 5.30 and Nathan is awake, so I'm gonna go get him. And unfortunately, it sounds like he's pretty upset. Hi. You're okay. 
Aww. Are you gonna make it? Tonight for dinner, Nathan is going to have a pizza pocket and carrots and blueberries. So I'm just making this pizza pocket right now and I'm making Kevin and I dinner and then um, I'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen afterwards. <laughs> Hey bud, what you doing? Are you hiding those? Are you, are you headbanging? <laughs> I hope you guys can hear his little giggle because it's hilarious. <coughs> Sierra, were you trying to play with him? Is that the zebra? Nathan, you want to go for a wagon ride? You watching Daddy Mo? Should we brush your teeth? Open up. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. It is almost time for me to go to bed. And I just wanted to say, please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. It would really mean a lot to me. And please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.